What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So we're going to take a look and a listen to Mr. Lawson. He is the executive director of Social Security Works, and he was at the hearing last week. So Senator Bernie Sanders had a hearing. They wanted to discuss Social Security reform. They have to do something about Social Security in the next 12 years, or we're looking at a situation where the trust fund will run out of money. And if the trust fund runs out of money, then Social Security beneficiaries could be looking at about a 23% decrease in the amount of money uh, that they're currently receiving. So this is very, very important. Senator Bernie Sanders, he has a plan, and that's the, what we've been talking about, this $2,400 boost to Social Security. So they want to boost up Social Security $2,400, so $200 per month as well as there's some other things in there to uh, beef up the, the the trust fund so the trust fund will be able to last for another 75 years. Uh, so that's the plan right now that Senator Bernie Sanders has. Now you have opposition, you have some Republicans that are adamantly against this, and uh, they have not put forward a plan yet, but they are pushing back on Senator Bernie Sanders' plan. And so in this video, we're gonna take a look and a listen to Mr. Lawson. But first off on this channel, we talk about money and the financial struggles that Americans are facing today. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification. That way you get notified anytime we put out a video. And like always, if you see my name and a picture of me in the comment section, make sure you see a check mark next to my name. That check mark signifies that it's me. If you do not see that check mark, it's not me. It's someone trying to impersonate me. Okay, so before we get started, uh, I want to remind you guys that I do premieres now on these videos. So every video that I post, if it's a long enough video, anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes, I will do a premiere. So make sure that if you see a notification for a premiere, click on the link first, and then you'll go and you'll see, it'll say notify me. Click on that as well, and then it will remind you. Usually I'm trying to put this out, I put out the notifications about two hours before uh, the the premiere that way you know now if you guys don't know what a premiere is basically a premiere is we watch the video but i'm in the chat and i'm talking with you guys answering questions and so it just it, there's more interaction there so if you if you've wanted to ask me a question maybe you've asked me a question in the comments before uh, and i haven't been able to answer it you can ask that question uh, during during one of the premieres and that also brings up the point of subscribers if you're subscribed to the channel you'll get a notification if you're not subscribed to the channel you're not going to get a notification for the premiere so i would highly uh, suggest that you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification so as soon as i put that announcement out you'll be able to see it and uh, come over and no and get notified for the future uh, premiere okay so uh, one thing one other thing i want to talk about and I've, I've had a lot of people uh, in the comments, or I won't say a lot, there, there are people that are in the comments saying, it'll never happen, we're talking about Social Security, this $2,400, it'll never happen, uh, they're, they're, they're just talk, it's all talk, this. So that's fine, and I understand where that anger comes from, I understand where the, 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 the looking at Congress and the lack of, of doing anything. There's a lot of stuff we see that goes through and, and, and or that's talked about and never actually happens. But we have to understand one thing. We are the boss. And if we are saying it's not going to happen, then guess what the politicians are thinking? You know what? Yeah, we're not gonna do anything. We'll just talk. Because they're not gonna hold us accountable. They're just gonna say, well, yeah, we expected that it wouldn't happen. Okay, just like if, if I was a, a, a boss at a job and I had people working uh, for me and there was some project that I wanted to get done, but they, they hear me saying, well, you know what, the project's never gonna get done. Do you think they're gonna finish the project? No. Why? Because I don't care about it. I'm, I'm clearly saying that it's not going to get done. So if I'm saying it's not gonna get done, they're not gonna do it, but they will still collect that paycheck. Okay, and that's what these politicians are doing. They know that there are a lot of people out there that are just saying, yep, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. And so when they see that, and when they hear about that, and better, you better believe that they're doing polls on all this stuff. And so if we continue to say, oh, it's not gonna happen, it's all talk, it's all talk, politicians are listening to that, and they're gonna just follow along and say, yeah, you know what, it's all talk. So we're, th this is what the constituents are saying. Uh, we've done some research, they're saying that it's just talk, so we can, we can get by without doing something when it comes to this. But when it comes to Social Security, the important thing about Social Security is we all know the outcome. We all know what's going to happen in 12 years. And there's no politician out there that can stand up and say, yes, I'm for reducing Social Security by 23%. There's, just, there, there's no politician that's out there that's going to say that. However, 
if they're trying to move forward and expand Social Security, because that's what Senator Bernie Sanders wants to do. He wants to expand Social Security. So he doesn't want to just um, even out the trust fund so they're able to you're able to get another 75 years out of the trust fund and and there won't you won't see any reduction. He wants to expand it. He wants to expand Social Security. He wants to expand Medicare. Other politicians, they're looking at it like, you know what? We don't want to expand anything. Okay, Senator Graham, he doesn't want to expand anything. All he wants to do is take care of that trust fund and maybe have people work for for a few more years because that would allow them to to collect more uh, from the payroll tax. Uh, but he doesn't want to tax those people that are making two hundred fifty thousand or more, or wh- whatever Senator Bernie Sanders' plan is two hundred fifty thousand or more. So I'm just saying that they don't. Senator Graham doesn't want to tax the rich. Okay, so. There's, there's there's a huge difference in expanding something or just keeping it the way that it is. Okay, so we need to set the bar high. If we set the bar high and then we get less than what we want, that's, that's still okay. At least we set the bar high enough. We didn't just say, you know what, it's not gonna happen. If we set that bar low like it's not gonna happen, then the politicians won't do anything. Or if they do something, it's gonna be very little. Okay, very, very little. And they'll say, well, yeah, you know what, we did something. You said we weren't gonna do anything, but guess what? We, we were able to do this. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look and a listen. Here we go. Thank you very much. Uh, next panelist is Mr. Alex Lawson, who is the Executive Director of Social Security Works, the convening member of the Strength in Social Security Coalition, a coalition made up of over 340 national and state organizations representing over 50 million Americans. Mr. Lawson, thanks very much for being with us. Uh, th- <clears throat> Thank you, Chairman Sanders, Ranking Member Graham, and other members of the committee. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a history lesson, I think. In 1935, Democratic President Franklin Delano Roosevelt signed the Social Security Act into law. And for the next 87 years, Social Security has never missed a single payment. Everybody loves Social Security. Everybody. I've been all over this country talking about Social Security, and I can tell you it doesn't matter if it's a room full of camo NRA hats or a parking lot full of electric vehicles, everybody loves Social Security. That's not actually totally true, not everybody. There's always been a a sliver, a tiny splinter group, a vanishingly small number of people who hate it with every fiber of their being. These are Wall Street people. They see the trillions of dollars the system has put in the pockets of the American people, and they say, hey, I want that money in my pocket. And as there are money men who hate Social Security, there are politicians willing to say how high at their commands to jump. The first was named Alf Landon. In 1936, he ran against FDR on an explicitly anti-Social Security platform. He called it a hoax, a fraud. He said it was filled with worthless IOUs that would never get to the people. And yet 87 years later and $11 trillion later going to the people, Social Security is still here making payments every month like clockwork. And Alf Landon is only remembered as the man who lost 48 states when he ran for president. After that, For the next few decades, uh, the majority of Republicans understood Social Security as a birthright and a cornerstone of economic security for all Americans, not a partisan football. My favorite is President Eisenhower in a letter to his brother saying this, should any party attempt to abolish Social Security, you will not hear of that party again in our political history. There is a tiny splinter group, of course, that believes you can do these things, Their number is negligible, and they are stupid. But unfortunately, that greedy splinter faction never stopped plotting. And that faction today has taken over the entire Republican Party. Ronald Reagan was possibly the last Republican president who was not totally under their sway. And he stated with clarity, social security has nothing to do with the deficit. Social security is totally funded by the payroll tax levied on employer and employee. 
If you reduce the outgo of Social Security, that money would not go into the general fund to reduce the deficit. It would go into the Social Security Trust Fund. So Social Security has nothing to do with balancing the budget or lowering or erasing the deficit. And this is very, very important because Senator Graham, a couple of days ago when I showed you that, that video, uh, Senator Graham tried to... He didn't. He he basically put it on the same chart. So he's talking about all the the problems that we're having and how uh, deeply in debt we are. And then he mentioned Social Security, but kind of said, "Well, they're they're separate, but they're they're in the same economy." I guess is what what Senator Graham was trying to say. But what it's what's important to understand when it comes to Social Security, this money is coming from the payroll tax. That's where this money is coming from. So the people that are working right now, they're paying that 6.2% and their employers uh, paying that 6.2%. That is the money that's going to, to fund Social Security. And then you have money that's left over in a trust fund and they're using that money in the trust fund as well. That is what is funding Social Security. That is where you're getting your Social Security benefits from. So when you start hearing people talk about, well, we can't do this, we can't do this with, with Social Security because it's going to add to the debt, it's not adding to the debt. And that's very, very important for, for people to, to, to focus on because you'll have politicians that will come out and try to make a correlation between our, our debt and, and, and Social Security when it's not the same thing. But the Splinter Group has patience and money, lots of money, and politics loves money. So after the 1983 reforms, they began waging a new type of war against Social Security. Uh, the main tactic being lying to the face of the American people about what it is they are doing. So now, you'll never hear from Republicans that they want to destroy Social Security. You'll never hear that they want to cut benefits. In fact, they always start their assaults on Social Security with uh, protestations of love. I love Social Security. I'm just worried it's not going to be there for us in the future. The goal of this is to convince people that they're going to get nothing so that they will accept less than they're owed. They cloak their, attack, their attacks under new monikers. George W. Bush called for just handing our Social Security over to Wall Street. He called it privatization. Uh, but again, it's just destruction. It just destroys Social Security. Imagine if George W. Bush had given our Social Security to Wall Street in 2006, two years before Wall Street collapsed the world economy. And we saw 401ks turned into 201ks. Social security would be gone if he had got his way. And it wasn't just him. The entire Republican Party was complicit. Senator Ron Johnson said as recently as 2015 that it was a shame the Bush plan to destroy social security didn't succeed. Senator Lindsey Graham, who supported the privatization effort too, has proposed a bill cutting Social Security benefits by 21%. He hides that policy by saying he's raising the retirement age. Uh, Senator Graham just laid out that the problem with Social Security is that if nothing happens, it, it, benefits are going to go down 23%. But Senator Graham's solution is to cut benefits by more than that. So that's not a solution, that's just the problem sooner. And that's not an outlier. The Republican call a platform in 2016 says with coded language, the plan is to cut benefits and hand over Social Security to Wall Street. As Republicans, we oppose tax increases and believe in the power of markets to create wealth, is what it says. Senator Romney recently tried to get an up or down vote in the dead of night on his so-called Trust Act, which would create an undemocratic, fast-tracked, closed-door process to cut Social Security. They know it is so toxic to talk about what they want, they tried to legally create a smoky back room where they can figure out the best way to rob people of their earned benefits. Which brings us to the current Republican agenda as set out by Chairman of National Republican Senatorial Committee, Senator Rick Scott. Uh, I'm sorry, can I have one? Can I have 30 more seconds, Senator? <clears throat> I will have to give this plan no, faint I mean, praise very because at least it has a hint of honesty about it. Senator Scott's plan would sunset Social Security in five years. Rick Scott is the modern-day Alf Landon. He hates Social Security and wants to eliminate it. 
but even he isn't brave enough to say that, that and calls it sunsetting. In fact, the Republican who was most honest was Donald Trump, who Bernie Sanders brought up, who said that all the Republicans want to do okay. a big number on Social Security. Oh, it's Lawson at the time. Okay, so that was uh, Mr. Lawson. He, he wasn't able to, to finish. Uh, they only have a certain amount of time that uh, they can do their, their opening statement. Uh, but what I thought was interesting is all the politicians that he was talking about, they were in the room. Uh, so you had Senator Mitt Romney, you had Senator Scott, you had Senator Graham. They were all there. So it, it, it's 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 kind of funny. And you in if you watch the whole panel, um, the, the whole hearing, you'll see Senator Scott. And he talked a little bit. Maybe I'll show a video in the future about uh, Senator Scott or show a video of that. But uh, Senator Scott was very, you could tell he was irritated, very frustrated in the fact that that w from what he is saying, people are misleading or are, are being misleading about his plan. Uh, now, his plan clearly states that every five years they have to reevaluate all the different government programs, and that would include Social Security and, and Medicare and all that. And because they have to look at these different programs every five years, they could terminate these programs. OK, that that's just the way things work. And if we're going to rely on Congress to get together and try to figure out a plan for something every five years. If you can imagine, I mean, we've been talking about the Social Security Trust Fund running out of money for years now, over 10 years, 15 years. They've been talking about this is what's gonna happen in 20 years. This is what's gonna happen in 25 years. This is what's gonna happen in 12 years. And we just keep talking about it, but nothing gets done. Could you imagine if every five years they had to talk about it and, and, and reevaluate the whole situation with Social Security? It would be an absolute disaster, and we would we would definitely see the uh, shutdowns. And, and I mean, there would be a point where the Social Security would shut down, and they wouldn't be able to pay out benefits. Why? Because politicians can't get together and figure out how to fund Social Security for another five years. That that's what would happen. And so, just the thought of of, of doing something like that, the thought of having a plan that 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 talks about that is just it, that should scare everyone and and senator scott is the only republican right now who has a plan he's the only republican that's put forward any type of a plan for i mean and this it's not just social security but he has a plan for uh to move forward in the net you know the next two years we're talking about the midterms now so you have a lot of politicians right now that are talking about what they want to do uh for for uh to get reelected or why they should be reelected which I think is the right thing to do if you're running for office you should let us know what you plan to do for the next 2 years why would we vote for you if if we don't know what your plan is and so and I say in the next 2 years because I'm talking mainly about the the people that are running in the in the House of Representatives now senators they run for 6 years so that's a whole different story uh but you should at least let us know what your plan is However, the minority leader, Mitch McConnell, does not want to put out a plan. He doesn't want to put out a plan, a Republican, the Republicans' plan. Now, it's a very good possibility, and I would say it's highly likely that Republicans will take over either both the House and the Senate or the House or the Senate. And uh, when that happens, we're now going to have a split government. So now what, it, what, what is your plan? What is your plan when it comes to a split government? How do you plan to put together bipartisan bills or do you just plan to not do anything for two years? And so we're, we're gonna have to follow that story and see where it goes, but let's go. I wanna go over to uh, Social Security Works real quick so you can see uh, their website. So uh, here it is here, Social Security Works. So this is the the gentleman, Mr. Lawson. This is the the organization that he works for. And so what I think is important for us to, to, to really focus on, and I, and I just remembered right now while I was watching this video or doing this video that I did not post the link to the other gentleman yesterday, the, the, Alliance, um, the Alliance for, I can't even remember the, the name, but I am going to put both of the, the links in the comment section of this video, okay? So in the comment section, it'll be pinned at the very top you'll see a link to both organizations. But these are, th th this is a good place to go. And the reason that I'm saying that, if, if you are, if you do support uh, the, the expanding of social security, this is a good place to go because they'll give you the information that you need. Uh, you can also, they have a petition right here. Uh, so you can, you can fill out this petition if you'd like to do that. But it's, it's a good way to get information 
that's uh, information about Social Security and the plans, okay? Because these are the people who are lobbying for you. And they're trying to get Congress to expand Social Security. So th these are the people that you should be paying attention to. These are the organizations. Uh, so, and I'll have some more organizations in the future that I'll talk about. Uh, I, I think I, I've pretty much, I've shown a lot of the, the hearing uh, of last week. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to take another look at it. Maybe I'll put some more videos together when it comes to that, but I do want to kind of get off to some other topics as well. Um, but when it comes down to it, Senator Bernie Sanders has a plan, the $2,400 boost. That is the only plan that we have that we know about right now. And I will make sure that I, that I pay attention to find out what's going on with the Republican side. If they're going to come up with anything, I did have someone ask me a question how does Senator Manchin, how does Senator Joe Manchin feel about the the plan from Senator Bernie Sanders? And Senator Manchin hasn't said anything about it yet. But the clue that you need to watch is that Senator Manchin is along with Mitt Romney, Senator Romney, and they're doing this behind the closed door. And they, they, he kind of talked about that where they have this the um, the Trust Act, and they're they're talking about this bipartisan. Social Security a solution. Uh, so uh, Senator Manchin is a part of that. And because Senator Manchin is a part of that, that obviously tells you that uh, Senator Bernie Sanders planned Senator Manchin is not completely in agreement with the plan. Now, that doesn't mean that he doesn't like parts of the plan. He could like parts of the plan. He could want to expand. He could want that $2,400 boost. Uh, he can want some other things. However, he is behind closed doors with uh, Senator Mitt Romney right now, and they're talking about putting some type of a plan together. Okay, so hopefully that answers your question. I would say, if you ask me, I would say Senator Manchin is not in 100% agreement uh, with uh, Senator Bernie Sanders' plan. So if you guys have any other questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.